Marco Rubio is Donald Trump's biggest threat. Marco Rubio is Donald Trump's biggest threat. Thank you for tuning into the Black Political Buzz Network, and my name is Laurel. As you can see, I'm walking on this very cold winter day. And while, while outside walking, I decided to record this vlog. I'm speaking today on Marco Rubio, candidate Marco Rubio, the electrifying Cuban-American, highly intelligent, young, Spanish-speaking, very astute, very skillful young politician who is campaigning against the GOP presidential nominee frontrunner, Donald Trump. Donald Trump is who I have recently endorsed. I have stated that in the event Mr. Trump is not the GOP presidential nominee, that I am not revoking my support for the GOP. I am, in the 2016 general election, I am supporting a GOP presidential nominee. I love Ms. Clinton, I love, I love Hillary, but my gut tells me and my value system mirrors or is, in, is more in line with the GOP's platform of opportunity, freedom of religion, etc. So let's talk about one of the candidates, one of the tier, top tier candidates of the GOP uh, in the GOP race, and that's Marco Rubio, U.S. Senator, current U.S. Senator Marco Rubio from Florida. Marco Rubio is not fighting for his life right now. He's doing very well. Now, I know that the polls may show differently, but the polls are up and down all over the place. So, you know. But as, as, as a candidate, oh, he holds his own. He holds his own during the debates. During each debate that I've, that I've witnessed and covered, I've seen Marco Rubio grow develop into a more a very formidable candidate for president and he's on fire and he is a threat to Donald Trump now Donald Trump is an outstanding GOP president presidential nominee um, candidate he's an outstanding presidential uh, candidate and whom, whom and whoever thinks that Donald Trump is in it to lose that's you're gonna lose Mr. Trump is not in it to lose, he's, he's in it to win it. But guess what? Marco Rubio is also in it to win it. Now I know that Sheldon Addison, billionaire, Las Vegas billionaire Sheldon Addison, is, he's uh, one of Marco Rubio's biggest backers, one of his largest, uh, one of his most um, wealthiest donors, Sheldon Addison. And Mr. Addison is getting his money's worth. Marco Rubio, when it comes to foreign policy, the young man has his game on 10. When it comes to standing his own against Jeb Bush or Ted Cruz and even Donald Trump, he's on 10. But Donald Trump knows that Marco Rubio would make a great running mate. Donald Trump knows that. You see, the 2016 general election is not about gender. Hillary Clinton is a very formidable presidential candidate, but it's not her gender that's, going, that's making her formidable. Hillary Clinton is a very formidable presidential candidate, but it's not about her gender. It's about who she is as a person. As a person, Hillary Clinton is a very skillful, amazing politician. I just cannot endorse that platform because I don't, I'm a Christian and I don't, I don't endorse abortion. I cannot support that, and I do not. I do not support same-sex marriage. I love gay people with all my heart because I'm a Christian, but I can't support same-sex marriage. So there's just things on the Democrat platform that, as a Christian, as a black Christian voter, I cannot support. But I can support the GOP's platform. I can support the GOP's platform, and I am. But Marco Rubio, the young, electrifying. Cuban American senator from Florida, he's he's on his game. And I would suggest that anyone who's thinking that Marco Rubio is not in it 
to win it. You are sadly mistaken. I see Marco Rubio. When the dust clears, when the smoke clears, I see Marco Rubio and Donald Trump as the last two standing in the GOP uh, ticket. And Donald Trump is not a foolish man. He's a very wise man, and that's why I'm supporting him. Donald Trump is not a politician, but he knows politics. I repeat, Donald Trump is not a politician, but he knows politics, and he knows that Marco Rubio will be a great running mate. Marco Rubio will pull in young voters. He would attract young voters, Latino voters, Cuban-American voters. He would also attract many uh, educated voters, many on Wall Street. Yes, there are, there are a myriad of electorate. There's a myriad of different electorate that Marco Rubio would attract on the GOP ticket. And that's why he's still flying high. Now, I know the polls may, may be, you know, giving a different story here or a different picture. But the polls are up and down anyway, so you really can't rely on just the polls. With Donald Trump, people love Donald Trump. And many people love Marco Rubio. Marco Rubio, Donald Trump is new. Marco Rubio is a career politician. Yes, he is. I'm not going to sit here and pretend like he's not. Marco Rubio is a career politician, but he has not been tainted by politics. Marco Rubio is a career politician, but he has not been tainted by politics. He's still fresh. So Donald Trump is not a politician. Donald Trump is not a politician. He's a great businessman who loves our country and our military. And that's what voters are tapping into. Marco Rubio is a politician who has not been tainted by politics. So he's still drawing the crowd as well. So Marco Rubio, stay in the race. Donald Trump, stay in the race. And as I stated, Marco Rubio will make a great running mate for Donald Trump once Donald Trump becomes the GOP presidential nominee, which I believe he will be. And Marco Rubio will be a great running mate for Donald Trump. As this race winds down, right now we have six candidates left standing on the GOP ticket. I do believe when, a, when the smoke clears, when the smoke clears, it's going to be Marco Rubio, uh, Donald Trump and Marco Rubio. So Marco Rubio is Donald Trump's biggest threat. Donald Trump knows this. Both men belong in the race to the end. Only one will become the nominee. And then one must concede to becoming the VP. I think they make a great team. What about you? Thank you for tuning in to the Black Political Bus Network. My name is Laurel, and goodbye.